welcome again guys to this video in today's video guys i'm going to show you how to create a church flyer like this using canva from a blank document so if you have been looking for a way to create this kind of church flyer using canva then this video is going to show you a step-by-step -step procedure of how you are going to be able to create this type of church flyer so everything i'll be using in this video i'll link it down in the description of this video so you can go there download the files and make use of it to practice and follow along with this video if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i drop another video like this so guys without much further ado let's get started you are going to open up your canva when you open up your canva at the home screen here you are going to click on social media okay so if you can see you can see we have social media when you click on that you are going to scroll down at this upside you will see instagram or here you can see instagram post so we are going to create this using a blank document so all you have to do is to click on create blank a blank documents like this so at first what we have to do is to when you are creating a design a church flyer like this you have to set your background first so to set this background i have a background i've downloaded i will link it in the video description all right so you go to that go to this video description to download this file so that you can make use of in your own design okay so now go to go over to upload so you can go to your um you can go to your device gallery and upload this file after downloading it from the video description so i've already uploaded mine to my canvas so what i'm going to do is to go over to my upload when you go over to your upload you are going to see this file all right so you are going to see this file so this is the background we are going to be using so all what you have to do is to click on the background look at it click on the image and drag it over to your um, canvas drag drag it over to your canvas like this so that it fits the entire background that's what you are going to do so you are going to have this background like this go over to your element on your left hand side here is the element so for this you are going to go to line and shapes so this is the shape you are going to use so you are just going to click on it and it's going to appear on your canvas like this so let me make this bigger so that you can see what i'm doing okay so you are going to have something like this so increase the size um increase the length okay reduce it just um to your own taste like this then bring it down okay to the bottom side like this i want to have a shape here okay so we are going to change the color of this to change the color of this shape simply go up here you can see color here click on color then go to your left hand side and pick the color that suits for this design okay i'll very soon i'm going to do a video on how to uh, pick color for your design all right so here add a new color click inside here to add a new color so for this i'll be using this color somehow orange but not that okay so i'll be using this color okay all right so this is the color i'll be using you can see the color code here if you want to use the same color you can copy this color code and place it just click here to highlight your color code and edit it paste in this color code i'm using for your own design okay all right so let's move on so we have this here okay so the next thing is to bring in the uh the pastor's image so to do that i've already uploaded my image so you are going to do the same thing go to your upload and upload your file that you want to use but mine i've already uploaded mine so i'm going to simply bring that out so this is the pastor's image so you are going to click and drag the pastor's image over to your canvas so this white area is called your design canvas so i'm going to place the pastor's image just um at the bottom here so you can make it bigger you can make it smaller to the way you want okay so i'm not going to leave the pastor's image like this i'm going to add some effect to it so to do that you are going to go up here so to do that select the pastor's image then go over to edit photo so when you click on edit photo for this i'll be using this okay the fresh code that's the fitters i'm going to be using this or you can go to adjust and make some adjustment to the photo other brightness contrast and all that so you can increase the contrast you can reduce the brightness to your own 
this okay because you are not going to be using the same image with me that's why you are going to adjust the brightness and all that to your own taste so this is the pastor's image i will be using so the next thing the next step to do now is to bring in the theme of this event so the theme of this event i've already dragged that out okay so when you're designing a church flyer like this when you get this um, information from your client simply open on your um, if you are using your smartphone this is the same process you are going to use you are going to download notepad from your play store and um, type in this text so i'm going to show you where those text is i will um, link down in the description of this video this um this text document that you can uh, practice with okay so here you can see i've um, written down this text in on into my notepad so you can see all the text i'll be using for this video so um this is the theme of the event so when you're designing something like this you get this information from your client and put it inside a notepad like this so that you won't have to stress yourself and start typing when you are doing a design like this so i'm just going to copy this sound so i'll copy this and go to my canva then go to text click on text then add a text just add a text to your design then paste in the sound um, text you just copied okay so this is the text i just copied so for this font in the text document which i will link down in the description you will see the name of the font i'm using so for this font i'll be using uh, um, horizon so i'm going to copy the name of the font go over to your canva then click on to change the font click at the top here change the font then um in the search back box here click inside and paste the name of the font and it's going to search for the font so this is the font i'll be using so click on that and your font will be changed to this so i'm going to place this just here then change the color to dark purple so i'm going to add a new color change this color to dark purple just something of this nature okay so i'm going to change the font to this so you can zoom out your design if you are using your phone you are just going to use your two finger to pinch out your screen to zoom it out so i'll place this just at the center of the page like this so i'm going to copy this and add the other text so i'll go to my notepad i'll go to my notepad to copy the next text which is heaven so i'm going to copy this go to my canva highlight this and paste in the text okay so this is the text so for this other than text i'm going to reduce it a little make it smaller just like this just place it at the bottom here all right so for this i'm going to create a um, variation between the colors so for the heaven i'm going to make it a lighter uh, purple so the next text is um the from so i'm going to go to my um notepad again copy this text go to your canva and paste the text copy this duplicate this text double click on it and paste paste the text to so change the color of this text to black so we are going to change the color of this text to black okay select the text change the color to black okay so reduce the size and place it just by the side here so let me zoom this out so that you can see i'm going to place this by the side just here like this okay so let's zoom this out so we have something like this so you can either group them or you highlight them and arrange it just the way you want it so the next text i'm going to be adding is the um join our celebration assembly so what i'm going to do you can see the text here so i arrange this text in my notepad just exactly how it's going to be arranged in the order it's going to be arranged on my design so i'm going to copy this go to my canva so i'm going to copy one of these texts place it at the top here highlight it and paste in the text which i just copied so this is going to be the text so i can reduce the size place it just by at the top here okay so let me zoom this out so that you see what i'm doing so for this text i'm going to be using this font so um for the files that i'll, I'll link down in the description the, the name of the font is going to be there so we are going to change this font so go over to font to change the font click on the search box and paste the name of the font that i just copied so i'm going to see a font like this so let's take this up okay so let's take this up all right so we have something like this okay 
so guys you can see we are getting on to something so let me show you how okay so you can see what we have arrived at all right so let's move on so the next thing is to bring in the church name and the church logo so to do that simply go over to your upload to your upload so this is the um, church logo so i'm going to click and um, um, bring it onto my design canvas so i'm going to reduce the size place it just above here so let me zoom this out anytime you are um doing something small like this you just have to zoom out your design so that you can see what you are doing okay so we have the church logo there so i'm going to copy one of these texts to um, place it here to write the church name so that's that will be international youth summit so i'm going to my um, notepad to copy out that so i'll copy this copy it go to my canvas and paste it there okay so this is as simple as this so for this font i'll be using a normal font here so you can clear out your search so i'll be using a normal font which is poppins so i'll be using poppins so we have uh, this normal font just like this so you can either decide to make this bold and this so let me zoom this out so that you can see what we are doing okay so place it just by the side here yeah? you can reduce the size place it just align it perfectly with your logo so duplicate this to add the other text so we are going to copy this text from our notepad okay so this is how you create this kind of church design using canva from a blank document so you are going to place it just below here so this is going to be international international church youth summit so i'm going to copy this other text again copy it take it to your canva duplicate this other text and paste it in okay so we have something like this all right so we have something like this guys so if you are Creating this kind of design with your phone, you pinch out your screen so that you can be able to see what you are curating. Okay, so you can cut, um, highlight all the text and place it, align it perfectly with your logo. So you can highlight all of them and group it. Okay, so we have something of this nature. Okay, so let's zoom that out and see what we have been able to come up with. Okay, so we have something like this. So the next step is to create the um the date the time and the um the time and the venue of the service so what we are going to do now is to go to elements when you go to element you are going to go to lines and shape click on this other shape okay this other shape you are going to in um increase the length reduce the height so make it a, a bit smaller place it just um above the pastor's image so for this shape we are going to change the color we are going to give it a gradient color so guys listen now this is how you you'll be able to give a gradient color to a shape in canva so um go to click on this shape go to color then go over to the color to add the color so for this i'll be using this purple color so when you click on this purple color you are going to see let me show you this now okay so when you click on this you are going to see this small edit icon click on the edit icon and you are going to see solid color and gradient color so now select the gradient color and it's going to add a gradient effect to um, your your shape okay so we have this gradient effect so you can flip it around make it come like this and like this okay so this is how you can create this gradient using canva okay so you have learned one you have learned something now okay so we have created that gradient now so what we are going to do is to um create our to add our text over this shape okay and to do that we are going to add a text so go over to your left hand side click on text add just a normal text so for this text is going to be the date of this event so it's going to be 24th so we are going to copy this go to canva and paste in this text okay so for this text you are going to drag it over you can paint it out so that you see what you are curating okay this is how you do this so change the color of this text to white so when you are using this type of color you are going to use a bright color over a dark 
color background okay that's how you uh, create designs that will pop out okay so we are going to have this is the um, date of the event make it bigger then copy this and place it under which is going to be the month that this event is taking place okay so january so i'm going to copy this go to my design highlight it and paste it in so that is going to be the month that this event is taking place so place it right under this uh under the day so for this order to create a variation between this font we are going to make make the month um thing that will make the date both okay so let's copy this uh, other text place it under here so this is going to be the year so for this year it's going to be 2023 okay all right so let's make this bold i'm going to make that bold increase the font size okay then increase the spacing to increase the spacing between a font you click on the text then go at the top here you can see spacing click on spacing and you are going to see letter spacing so increase the letter spacing so you can see what is happening to our text now so this is how to create this type of um, text spacing between text using canva so let's um let's highlight each of these and group it so we are going to highlight them select the three of them and group it so that should be inside one group so the next thing to do is to add another text which is going to be the service time so go to your notepad copy the first service so this is going to be be the text so let's copy this go to your canva and paste it in okay so we are going to have something like this so let's move this down okay so you can see this text comes um a, a, a default um alignment center align has been applied to this text so we want to change the alignment to left align so select the text then go up here to alignment you can see if you go up here to alignment you are going to click on sorry you're going to click on alignment not that you're going to click on alignment to make it left align so reduce the size of this text make it good okay or you can change the font from here click on the font so for this font we are going to use a border font so let me go to the notepad and see the font we use there okay Montserrat um, classic that's the font we use there so go to font type in here so Montserrat classic okay so this is the font we are going to be using for this so let's bring this here change the color to white so that is going to be visible so this text is going to be here then copy this text and place it just by the side like this so that's going to be the second service so you are going to copy the second service now copy this and go to the text double click on the text to highlight it and paste it there just like that okay guys so we are moving forward so the next thing to do now is to create a kind of demarcation between the date and the service time and the venue so to do that we are going to add a rectangle by the side or you call it a line okay so do, to do that go to your element and go to lines and shapes then select this line okay so when you click on this it's going to be added to your design so you can see what we have here so this is a line so take it over to um the purple shape so for this you can reduce the line you can change the rotation just like this so we have something of this nature so this is going to create a kind of demarcation between the date and uh, the time okay so this is how to create this so um duplicate this place it under which is going to be the venue go back to your notepad and copy the venue of this text so let's bring this highlight the text and paste it in so we have this is going to be the, be the venue so let's create this between this so double click on this so we want to make um some part of this venue a little bit thinner so to do that go to your text select go to your text and select a a thin font okay for the other part of the text so for this let's make use of this for this font then let's go let's make this bold then this other one let's um so let's use poppins for this text 
so we are going to use medium so we'll make um, the jubilee pasture we'll make it bold okay so let's make this other one light to create a variation between this text okay so we have something like this increase the size of the text to fit in like this so let's um, highlight it, all of this so that we can align it perfectly over this design so let's make it bigger then align it perfectly like this okay guys so let's see what we have been able to come up with guys so you can see how the design now looks like so we have other things to add okay so uh, let's simply add that so the, let's re uh, increase the size of this theme again so that it's going to stand out so increase the size so that is going to stand out in this design all right so we have something like this so the next thing is to add the um, name of the pastor you can see what i have here to add the name of the pastor and um, the um, life okay it's going to happen live on youtube so add this and add the name of the pastor so simply that's what i'm going to do so to add the name of the pastor i'm going to copy one of these texts duplicate one of these texts take it here change the color to black okay i hope you guys are following what i'm doing so zoom out your screen so that you can see what you are creating so for this you are going to highlight this text go to our notepad copy the name of the pastor so we are going to copy this this is the pastor's name so i'm going to copy this now then go over to your canva paste that name there okay so for this we are going to cut this down so let's increase the size paste put it just by the side here okay so you can see the spacing between these two these two texts is um is large so i'm going to reduce the line spacing between the text to reduce the line spacing between text on canvas simply select the text then go over to spacing so over here you are going to see line spacing and letter spacing so for this we are going to reduce the line spacing between this text okay so let's see all right so we have something cool like this okay guys so that is how to reduce line spacing in canva so the next thing now let's copy this text place it over here so for this it's going to be um, this other text with reverend so we are going to copy that go over to your canva paste that in reduce the size just like this so for this other one we are going to make it we are not going to make it bold so let's increase the size let me zoom this out so you can see what we are doing so place this here just like this okay so we have something like this with pastor uh with reverend peter k o k for okay so i'm going to zoom that out so that you can see all right so the next thing to add now is the um youtube live icon so this is how to do this you can go over to your google chrome to download um, this live icon or you can go over to elements on your canvas search for youtube logo you search for youtube youtube icon so if you search for that you are going to see youtube icon different youtube icon here yeah, so for this i'm just going to click and add this here reduce sorry reduce the size of the icon make it smaller reduce the size place it just here place it just here so the next icon i'm going to add is the live icon okay for um canva the live icon is for pro users okay so let's search for this youtube live so this live icon is for pro users okay so what you can do is look at the live icon is for pro users so what you can do you can simply go to your google chrome just go to your google chrome like this and search for um youtube if you are not using the canva pro you can just search for youtube live icon p and g okay if you are not using the canva pro but i will link down in the description a video that will show you how to get the canva pro using canva uh, theme invite so you can go to um, your google chrome like this search for this uh, canva live icon download it and upload it to your canva okay since i'm using the pro i'm going to add the live icon inside my canva okay so you are going to have something like this live on youtube okay so i'm going to copy this pastor's name which is going to be the um 
name of the channel okay because the pastor's name is going to be the name of the channel okay that this event is showing live on okay so you just place it under this way okay so we have something of this nature so past peter um, k of car for is the name of the pastor pastor's youtube channel okay so we have something like this guys so let's see what we have been able to come up with guys so if you are still up to this point um by now you should understand some certain things that you need to know on how to create this kind of flyer using canvas so some people don't know it's possible for you to create this kind of flyer using canvas so let me show you full screen on what we have been able to create so guys this is the flyer we have just created using Canva starting from the beginning to the end, okay, using a blank document. So when you are done creating this, you simply download it and you can share it to your client and they won't know that you created this using Canva. So guys, thank you and subscribe to this channel to stay updated with my so, uh, upcoming videos. So thank you and I will see you in my next video video